In this segment of the Family Accounting webinar, we will review automated billing, formula billing, which is billing based on either time card hours or schedules or a combination of both. If you need some special formulas, contact technical support at ProCare and they will try to find you one that might be a stock one or if needed, they can work on one for you. So let's say I want a late pickup charge. My center closes at five o'clock and I want to bill a dollar a minute for late pickups. So I'm going to go to Peter Adams. I'm going to go to the billing box. This time, however, I'm not going to do a contract. I'm going to select billing formulas. I'm going to go to billing formulas and I'm going to click on new formula. So the secret is to find the right formula. Once you do that, let's say I'm going to charge the ledger, which ledger I'm going to charge Greg Adams and the formula name that I'm going to do is after hours pickup. I happen to know that that one is billing a dollar a minute for pickup times after five o'clock. And that just comes up with a charge. So the question is, what do I want the charge description to be? I don't want to call it tuition infant. I'm going to click here and I think I've got one under L for late pickup. Here we go, late pickup and no comment. And I'm just going to save this. So if I save it, every minute the child is picked up after five o'clock, they would get billed a dollar a minute. And if I wanted to alter that particular charge for this child, I could do it something different. I could say this child's $2 a minute, okay? Because they're late so often, but we're gonna leave it at the, at the default, which was the dollar. And I'm gonna save and exit. This is the formula, it sits there, kind of like the contract, it doesn't do anything until you do. Let's take a quick look at Peter's time card. And in his time card for last week, I believe I should have a late pickup. Here's one, 535 on 1027. So he was picked up 35 minutes late. And currently he's just checked in. So let's say I'm running the formula and I want to bill all of my late pickup charges for the prior week. I'll go to functions, family accounting, automated. This time, however, I am picking formula billing the formula that I'm running is the after hours pickup formula. And maybe I'll, I'll post it with today's charge. The date range, I want to make sure I get last week because I want to make sure I pick up that Friday. This is like in the contracts. These are the prior cycles. I don't have any prior batches for formulas. I'm going to click next. And all of those children who had that formula that I just ran, who were late last week, would get billed at the dollar an hour, 35 minutes late, and there's Peter's charge. You have the sigma, which will give you some basic information about it. So if I double click on that sigma, I'll see that in this date span that I just ran, he had a total after hours on one day. It was, these are rounding, 35 minutes at a dollar, $35. So if you were actually running this formula, you would just flag it, post, yes, exit, and when you double click back on the ledger, these are the charges for the formula. There's the late pickup charge. So if you have any questions on the formula billing, tech support would be the best, and you can describe what it is that you're trying to do with formula billing and they are familiar with all the formulas and they can try and find you one that works.